Oh man, this is going to be interesting. Hi, I'm I'm Darren. I work backstage. Now you may be wondering, what am I doing talking to you while I'm in the advertiser lounge? That's because, well, I got my little cue cards. So, in lights of our now former boss, boss uh, now former hosts, rather, distasteful comments, I will be taking over as the new host. Because of this unfortunate circumstance, I regret to inform you that we must be canceling our Christmas animation this year. I know, it's terrible. I'm sorry, children. Well, lighten up. You're going to get presents anyways, so... Anyways... Uh... Oh, I had my, uh... Whoops, I had my other car. <laughs> Now, let's give our attention to the musical entertainment. Our music musician tonight is the one, the only. I can't read this. It's just a scribble. It's it's just a scribble. Um. Yeah. So whoever pops up on the on the on your TV screen playing music or whatever is going to be whomever. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Merry Christmas, y'all. I'm Lewis, uh, banjo, the banjo man, and I, I'm here to play. I'm very honored to be here t t today to play my favorite Christmas song on banjo. Uh, yeah, here it goes. Uh. <laughs> uh, this thing's really uncomfortable. I just got position. I just got position the right way. Okay, okay. Oop! Whoops. Wait, that's the wrong song. Oh, jeez. Uh, it's okay. I, I, um, uh. No, no, it's the wrong song as well. Oh, God. No, wait, no, that's a. Oh, God damn, it's the wrong. Ah! God, I failed them. I, fa I let them all down. I let. I. I'm ashamed. I'm I'm ashamed in my God's eye, my Lord outlaw. Ah, uh, I forgot. I forgot what my uh, I, I forgot what my commercial was supposed to be about. Damn. something uh well let's give a hand for our wonderful talents okay. Ooh. Okay, that disappeared uh, now we have a special one uh from the wonderful name redacted because he's in witness protection oh well here's our nameless chef
he's going to show us how to cook his special um, hot chocolate mix. Seasons or greetings, channel 778 viewers. I'm the world, I'm the home famous Jeff the Chef. But I'm in, I'm in witness protection. Please don't tell the Turkish Mafia on me, alright? Anyway, anyways, um, I'm gonna show you how to make my world famous hot chocolate. And it's gonna be pretty cool if I can say so myself. I got myself all nice and prepped up. Be very careful when it comes to this stuff. And of course, one of the steps of being careful, of course, is washing your hands and making sure it's not too hot. I learned that the hard way one time. Come on. Ah, there we go. There we go. I don't know if this violates my witness protection agreement. Probably not. Okay. Yep. Yep. Make sure to wash nice deep within those, uh, within, within those hands. Very important to do so. Of course, what you're going to want, what the materials you're going to need is you're going to need a cup, uh, a big old red Keurig machine. Shit, I gotta get that thing started. Wait, no wait. And then, most importantly, you're going to need one of these. You're going to need the big old Keurig pod for it. Very important to make the chocolate mix or whatever, the hot chocolate. So, well, let's get ready to cooking then. So we got we got to first warm the water. Oh, I think we're going to need more water. Ah, damn it. To re replenish the water. We're going to have to find a good, trusty water source. So of course, the only reasonable option is to adventure into the washroom. Come on, there we go. Okay. Ah. Ouch! Alright, there we go, there we go. I just need it. With that, voila, the, wa the water is all nice and refilled. Now I just gotta fill her off. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, oh fuck. Right, whoop. So now we get out of here. Now, anyways, now we got the water all in. We just gotta turn things up, start up the old fire, if you know what I mean. How we wait. Ah, yeah. uh, can we cut can we cut to a commercial break? This probably might take a while. Hi, I'm oh ah. Hi, I'm Jeff the Chef, and you're watching Jeff the Chef. Christmas edition on channel 778. Please stay tuned after these, after a word from our sponsors. Ew, gross. This towel makes me look like a decent human being. Are you tired of being that one guy who goes to the beach and looks like a sane person with boring, bland towels? Do you want to look like a, se a sexual predator? Do you want to look like someone who's on the sex offender list? Find no other towel than ours. These towels are sure to make you look... Make, uh, these towels are sure to make women at the beach very uncomfortable when they're near you. Gone are the days of you looking like a normal person that everyone wants to be around. And now are the days where you get to be that disgusting creep that appears in women's nightmares. I can certainly tell you my life changed. When I used to have a boring gray towel, men would only beat me up. Never. And it was so boring. 
now that I have this towel, I'm constantly getting followed by men who are much more muscular than me, so that way they can beat my brains out. Yeah! Just call the number down there and we and place in your credit card information and as soon as possible we'll be shipping one of these bad boys right to you. And it's an even more better bonus, if you call before the end of uh, this special, we'll put you on the sex offender registry with your purchase. It's a two-in-one deal. Yay! Hello, and welcome back to Cooking with Christmas Cooking with Jeff the Chef on Channel 778. Ah, jeez Louise, I never thought this thing would be done. Now, of course... You gotta take out the additional cartridges that out of here, and we apply the uh, the real stuff that we're actually going to use. Oh, oh, that was a close mistake. Ah. Mm. there we go. Okay, I'm very wet here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now we just put in the right thing, and here we go. This will take a while, I just... Oh dear, I got a phone call. Hi, this is Jeff the Sh Turkish Mafia. What are you calling here for? Ransom. Look, you guys know I'm in witness protection. I'm not paying any more ransoms. Why do you guys keep on tormenting me like this? Okay, okay, explain, explain, okay. Okay, I'm listening, I'm listening. I'm, li I'm listening. Okay. You want the ransom paid by Tuesday. I can't do Tuesday. I'm doing a Christmas show right now. Can you guys call back later? Ah, oh, I see, I see. Okay. Come on, guys. Like, I, I, I lost my eye. I gave you guys my eye. Like, enough is enough. Like, how many times you got to torture me? Now you got, like, what, you got my uncle? My uncle disowned me. I don't care about him no more. Screw you. I'm not paying your ransom no more, guys. What the heck? Oh, oh, shit. Call you back later. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh baby, that's uh. Well, um. After these messages. You there. You may be wondering. Why am I wearing the same clothes as the last two clowns who you've seen? The, the guy who's there on the weird towels and the music guy. I'll tell you this right now. I kicked their asses, stole their clothes, and now I'm wearing them. And I'll kick your ass too pretty soon if you don't buy my new book. It's called How to Kick People's Asses, Steal Their Clothes, Wear Those Clothes, and Then Appear on Christmas Special Adverts. I don't have the book on me, but yeah, I take my word for it. Contact my email right here to place an order, or else I will kick your ass. You may wonder, what's this book about? It is a self-help guide teaching you how to go from a wimp to a person who cracks open a can of whoop-ass on anyone they want. Order now, or else I will hunt you down like a goddamn bloodhound and whoop your ass. Oh, don't know. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ouch. Ah. Um. So we have a bit of, uh. What's the word? Um. Problemo. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't paying attention and it kind of filled my cup to the brim. So this is to our next, uh. Um. Our next step is. Take another glass, and we're just going to carefully extract. Oh, I should have some. Uh, uh, I should have some sandwiches in here. Come on! Oh dear! Uh-oh. 
Oh, oh, Gary. In all, in all fairness, viewers, I think I've improved when, oh, when it comes to cooking. I remember back in the day, like, oh, oh, shit. It'd be so much harder to do, like, the cooking than that. And I remember my first cooking show back in, like, I don't remember when that was, but my first cooking show, I just failed so hard. But I mean, it wasn't my fault. It was all the distractions. But now I, I can faithfully assume that we, uh, I've definitely improved. Oh my, that's hot. But it's it's like it's like it's okay. It's like hot. It burns my tongue a bit. My tongue hurts, but. I think it tastes all right. Uh, well, that's the cooking show, everyone. Thanks for joining in. Cue the music. And so, in the closing of our Christmas special, I am, I am channel 778. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, our ex-host had this whole spiel about the meaning of Christmas. But since he's gone now, I guess, uh, the meaning of Christmas is to buy gifts and worship the, the Christ Santa baby or something? I don't know, I don't pay attention, I celebrate Hanukkah. Alright, good night and Merry Christmas everyone!